Well, I think it actually started a little more than 10 years. Um, we it was put together originally by efforts um, with um, the ITS community and the um, TSB to find a way to bring the um, ITS technology into the communications leadership that ITU presents. Well, the biggest challenge has been the evolution of how we do the connected vehicle, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications, vehicle-to-infrastructure communications. And we've slowly but surely worked through with the cellular um, industry to bring the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure technology into the cellular standards. That's now been accomplished and we're working through with the car companies and the regulators to look towards hopefully by about 2020 having those technologies automatically included in all cars that get manufactured around the major countries in the world. Um, I'm one who doesn't believe that the costs are going to be that great when we get there, but I think it's going to take them much longer than I hear. It's very, very complicated to put these pieces out. They can be done in tests, in limited circles, um, even to get um, production cars that people can buy that would cover all expressways will probably be 23, 24 and local roads may be as late as 2030 or more before we can really get there.